Welcome. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I have um, several channels. I have Miss Servine Tarot and then, of course, um, Psychic Tarot. I would love for you to join me in uh, both of them if that's possible and this resonates for you so I can reach my next milestone. I also have Instagram at Miss Servine. So there, I'm going to do this double major uh, 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 Arcana Tarot deck. I was guided to use this so instead of oracles i'll be using this we'll see if i can read them because sometimes they're hard for me to read it's sort of the reversal i think of the of the uh arcanas which maybe is easier for me to read but here we go so high priestess lovely so very much in your power hugely intuitive okay huge secrets that are coming out but mostly this is very much in your power you might be dealing with someone with n or d in their uh, names all right this can also be that so you know that someone's going to be pregnant or someone is going to be pregnant or you sense a child this can also be that there's going to be some sort of illumination coming in all right, in terms of uh, secrets or uh, intuition that you know, highly, highly intuitive. You might be a shaman, priest, a tarot reader, um, anything having to do with the esoteric realms, okay? Also very spiritual. This is also an enlightenment that you might be having, huge downloads and huge enlightenment, all right? You're also gonna be super, super happy. I'm glad I used this deck. Let's see this one. Yeah, the Empress, very much in your power, my other oracle was the Empress and the Queen of Cups. So go check that out. This is also pregnancy that's coming in. So someone might be pregnant or somebody might be adopting is sort of what I'm sensing. There might be an adoption that's a uh, different race of what you are. And I think you're going to just be very much delighted. It might be a girl and it might be a boy for some of you. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm getting both of them, okay? Uh, you might also be... Um, adopting possibly someone like older so maybe a teenager or like yeah like a preteen but mostly a teenager let me know in the comments below because that's sort of a little far-fetched and so it's always important for me to make sure that um you know that whatever i'm channeling is appropriate and it's only through your feedback that i can do that so thank you so much for all of you who give me feedback two 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 on the clock and then it was two um I think it was 220 on the clock. So huge partnerships. I think somebody's very discouraged maybe about, you know, the manifestations that they've been wanting to do, but don't give up. Okay. I think that they might be coming in. There might be some sort of work that you might have to do. I think that you're almost there to be able to level up in terms of spirituality and your level 244 on the clock. So even though you might be very high in terms of spiritual, um, you know, giftedness, right. Uh, or a spiritual level, and very prosperous in that you still have work to do possibly with like herbs okay or some sort of like um i don't know having to do with maybe like spell work or manifestations where you use like um like fruits or herbs or flowers so make sure that you focus on that because i think that that's something that you probably need to level up you probably are having to study as well some sort of study that you'll be able to really master and be um you know this empress mode okay and then we're ending with the page of swords uh, which is um, some sort of communication coming in. This can also be some sort of partnership. I guess I'll just use this. Some sort of partnership. Also, this could be contractual um, situations, right? Uh, in terms of business. I think that somebody owed you an apology or there was something that didn't come through. I don't think you care anymore, okay? And oh, or, and or, this is the person that owes you an apology that might be coming in with some sort of communication. So get ready. I think they're looking at themselves, okay? And seeing everything that they've done. I think that they're really having to look at themselves in the mirror. I think this is also some sort of justice that you will be receiving, okay? And this can also be from this past person that hindered you or several people that hindered you. Uh, and I think that they're looking at themselves. This can also be some sort of contracts that you're waiting for that was very competitive that they're, you're going to clear up. Maybe there's been some confusion around it or you sort of don't know what, um, you know, what's going on with it. Um, and expecting like some sort of communication and that's coming as well. And you're going to be victorious in this. Okay. And I think you know it, but I think it's been kind of hard because it should have already gone here. There is someone that isn't doing well in terms of financially. This person is not having their manifestations, uh, 
met and I think that they were very manipulative, okay? And it's probably this person that's going to be contacting you that owes you an apology. All right, so things are not going well for them and they are not going well for them in terms of finances. Probably have to do, they're just upside down. So they might be upside down in some sort of like um, business, okay? Some sort of property or real estate. Uh, they might also owe lots of taxes. Um, I think they're having to get rid of things in order like to sell them or something. Um, I think they're just very depressed or just like, mm, like they don't know. I think they've been hiding some sort of money as well that they're probably going to have to give up. Okay. I think they've also lost some sort of status. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this person has been drinking. Okay. They've also been ill. Possibly something's been making them ill. This can also be some sort of poison if you're like a CIA or FBI. So be mindful of that. I'm just sort of getting that guy that they poisoned in Russia that passed away. Uh, there was also some other one and I just poison has been coming in. So be mindful of that if you do, you know, um, you know, that kind of line of work. If you do just, you know, I don't know, give me a code so that way I can know. But so be mindful, be mindful of what you're drinking and be mindful of what you're intaking. It's making you sick. So if you're having health problems, make sure that you review your diet and you review your um, health. OK, and I think that you could really set it through. But this probably has to do with cirrhosis or some sort. And I don't know about medical. So so, you know, take it with a grain of salt, what I'm saying. But and of course, check your physician and your, and your medical, um, you know, your certified person for medicine. Um, so absolutely. So this person's super sick. Um, you know, all the drinking is making him sick. There's also, he's not feeling well. And also emotionally, they're not feeling well. So this person is not doing well emotionally. Okay. And they are not doing, they're not doing well financially. They are in legal issues that they're having to take care of. Okay. Um, they also have a lot of people going after them, I believe in terms of, uh, legalities. All right. Um, I think they might be having to deal with some sort of contracts that maybe they're not fulfilling. This person feels really, really bad and really sick. Okay. This is very interesting. Yeah, they don't, they're very scared right now. There's a lot of illusions. They don't know what's up. They don't know how, what they're doing. They also probably feel like they're being hexed by you. Okay. Uh, they're very, there's a huge apathy about this. Um, I think their manipulative ways were very much enlightened, okay, and brought to the surface. I think they might also be having trouble with maybe some of their children, all right? They don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of fear. You might be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces, all right? You might be a Leo. You're just really happy sort of building and growing, all right, you're going to do exceptionally well and tending to your garden. Something about sunflowers. So maybe in sunflower um, in time, I don't know when the sunflowers come out. I think it comes out in sheer summer. So possibly Leo season. This is Leo season. Okay, so possibly um, like June and July. Let's keep on going. Yeah, this person was a player, all right? They were in and out. They thought it was funny. They were sowing their oats or whatever, screwing everybody. Confirmation. But there's going to be huge communication coming in for you. It's going to be sudden from this person. They're not doing well, so be mindful. That's the only reason that they're coming. I think they've grown up, but there's been some illumination, okay, that maybe in the past there wasn't. There's also some sort of like maturity from this person, and they can see clearly now who you are. I think before they didn't, all right, but I think that they see your caring, your caring ways. They're coming. This can also be that there might be some sort of suitor that's coming in. All right. This can also be that your son is growing up and might have to be like leaving for like law school or some sort of like PhD program or <clears throat> some sort of like a degree program. Page of Pentacles. I think you're learning something. I think you've mastered something. Someone's coming in with an offer of love or an apology or maybe like a date. Uh, be mindful. They're they're very manipulative. Okay. Um, 
They're also not in their best strength, so they might not be feeling well in terms of health. There's an ending of a cycle. This can also be uh, internet or networking. This can also be a trip or it could be like some sort of like, um, yeah, like a trip, okay? Yeah, this person is not doing well. This was your counterpart at some time. I don't think they are anymore. Or it was like a false twin. I don't believe in twin flames, but if you do, or this was like a false partner, or they just didn't level up and you left, being, left them behind. I think they're seeing that now very clearly. And I think you cut it off with them, okay? And I think it's the best thing that you probably did. This is some sort of karma that's coming to this gentleman that was just absolutely horrendous to you. This person is an alcoholic, so be mindful of that. And I think the alcoholism is really getting to them at this point, and they're getting they're getting to be broke. I think they left you when you weren't doing very well, and you were building your business or you know going up your career. And I think that you know now the tables are reversed. I think they've gone huge elimination with this. I think you have to. All right, and I think that now they're the ones that are stuck and they don't know what to do. I think you've also unstuck yourself from this and there's gonna be like huge forward movement. Yeah, I think you're gonna be super balanced. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. You might be Aquarius or have Aquarius in your in your chart. I think there's gonna be lots of healing, uh, nurturing um, situations here. And I think that if you've been having, um, you know, problems with your health, I think you're going to start seeing them much better. I think there is, um, you know, some sort of partnership coming in, some sort of love affair, some sort of person that will be leveling you up in terms of love, okay, as well. All right. And I think that's it. I don't think that these are your cards. So I would love for you to uh, join my uh, community and let's make it grow. Love and like, ciao.